Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to another episode of Terraria Journey's End. So in the last video, we obliterated the Queen Slime after dying to her just a measly one time, and as I said, the next step in our Master Mode adventure is going to be dealing with the mechanical bosses. And I spent a lot of time trying to figure out which would be the best one, well, not necessarily the best one, more along the lines of which one would be the easiest and wouldn't result in repeated deaths. Thanks to all my farming, I did get quite a bit of summoning items, though I don't remember where I put them, right in here. I got a good handful of them, I got a lot of eyes, a lot of worms, a lot of skulls, so repeated attempts, as long as I don't die a ridiculous amount of time, shouldn't be a problem. So I think I'm gonna end up going with the twins first. That's gonna be the first one that I go up against, cause I refought the pirates. Oh, speaking of the pirates, I almost forgot about this. I got a pirate NPC, and I built him a pirate ship. And there you go, that's the pirate ship. I have not really made very many ships. In fact, I don't think I've ever actually tried to make a pirate ship in Terraria before. I made a lot of, uh, a lot of submarines, I made a couple of those, but never any pirate ships. It was really, really challenging making this for me, because I really just, I, I had no idea where to start, what to make. I was worried one side was gonna end up being too big than the other. I ended up using rich mahogany wood painted brown for the actual base and the fences around the ship. And I ended up actuating these blocks right here to make them sort of look like they were in the background. Like I could walk past them. Got the cannons here. I used boreal wood for the background walls and painted that brown as well. Painted the tables and everything in here brown. So yeah, the captain's got a ship. Little area to himself here to, uh, you know, in the event that the stylist and the angler get on his nerves, he can just open fire. Which is just fantastic. But anyway, like I said, I refought the pirates a couple of times to actually kill some of the Flying Dutchmans now that I'm a little bit more equipped for it, a little bit more prepared. And I got this. What I am told is the most, if not one of the most overpowered mounts in all of Master Mode. It is called the Black Spot. Arr, this be mutiny. And it's basically a really, really fast, infinite flight ship that allows you to soar across the sky, sort of like the UFO, a lot like the Martian Saucer. And that's the reason why I'm going to end up fighting the twins first, because I feel like with this, I'm not even going to need an arena. I'm not going to have to worry about that at all. I'll just kind of bounce and bob and weave around them. Hopefully it shouldn't be a problem. I am sticking with melee, so I'm probably going to end up doing the majority of my damage with a flying knife, maybe a shadow flame knife as well. I doubt that going as fast as I'll be going, that the uh, Dow of Pow will be all that useful. Look at that. I can outrun the wyvern. You can't catch me now. Look at that. I move faster than a wyvern. There's a nice little speed comparison. If you're wondering how fast this goes, it's as fast as a wyvern. Ah, I'm running out of space. Oh god, nope, not gonna get me. And he died off camera. So those souls of flight, never gonna see those again. So I wanna have a full night before I start doing anything else. I wanna make sure that before I go in any of these fights that I actually have a full night to fight them because of master mode and its crazy amounts of health that all the bosses have. I wanna make sure that I don't run out of time even if I am winning and end up losing to them. I don't know if I'm gonna replace my wings. I did think about maybe putting a Charm of Myths there to have more potion usage for this. If I'm gonna be flying around on this for the majority of it, but I don't know. In the event that I decide not to, I guess I'll switch back. I don't know. But that's where we stand right now. That's the only thing that I did off camera. Got all my potions ready, got my summoning items ready. Got some flasks to use because I do believe that the twins are affected by debuffs. And that's pretty much where I left off. So, whenever it is finally nighttime, again, like a full nighttime, we'll come back and jump right into fighting the twins. And hopefully, you know, with the, with the grace of the Terraria gods on my side, I shouldn't have any problems. And I'll just kill them. So I'll see you then. All right, night is almost upon us, and I've decided what I'm going to do. Since I'm going to be flying around in the black spot for the majority, if not the entirety of the fight, I decided to swap out my wings with some Charm of Myths, and I swapped out my Terra Spark boots, because I realize I'm not going to be running all that much, with a Moon Charm. And the majority of my accessories are set to warding, armored at least, so I'm getting armor for the majority of them. I have up to 83. I think with the charm, uh, I should get... Almost 90 armor, which is uh, kind of crazy, I suppose, because I'm not used to having that much armor until very, very late into the game. But you know what? It's been a while since I played Melee, so everything is going to be just fantastic. So in about another minute or so, we will call forth 
the twins buff up and hopefully we'll be able to handle them pretty easily. My only concern is that I'm going to end up flying too fast away from them because this thing at full speed is about 82, 83 miles an hour. And I don't know if it's affected by things like a swiftness potion or not. I don't know. I didn't read up on it at all. But it, for the most part, goes about 82, 85 miles per hour. I don't know how fast the twins are, but hopefully we don't outrun them and make them respawn. But with any luck, this should be a piece of cake and everything will be just fine. So there we go. It is now nighttime. The enemies of the darkness have arisen. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to begin the twins. Without any further ado, let's call them forth and buff up. Here we go. Okay. Not off to a good start. They're kind of like directly around me. They've already foiled my plans. Okay. Don't run into that. Let's get going. Let's get into some kind of a direction here. Got to get away from them. I don't know what one I should focus first. Probably spasmatism. Let's go. Oh, yeah. This is going real well. I don't know how it'll be in the second form, but so far, so good. Got Shadow Flame and Curse Flame burning at the same time. There's a Sky Island up there. Don't hit my head off of that. Just got to stay just slightly out of their range. Try not to get blasted by anything too horribly painful. Should go pretty well. Don't get hit by that. Don't get hit by that either. Don't embarrass myself in front of all my adoring fans. I want to do that. Doing a little bit of damage to both of them. Ow. That actually didn't do too much damage. I don't want to press my luck, though. I've got 98 armor. Almost 100 armor. I have a lot more than I thought I would. So that's probably negating a good chunk of the damage. Plus the Endurance Potion and everything, and the Worm Scarf taking even more damage away. Yeah, the lasers are hitting me for 19. I probably won't even need this much mobility. His main attack's only hitting for 16. I think I've pretty much, like, uh... As long as I keep avoiding and don't take too many risks, should be no problem at all. I'm actually flying faster than the Fireball. Oh, he's switched now. Here we go. We got the flames. Stay away from the flames. Come on, bring it on, Spazzy. There we go. He can't even keep up with me. I'm faster than the twins. You're nothing. You ain't nothing compared to the might of the black spot. Spasmatism's going down. I think I needed a... I don't think I needed a whole night for this. Excuse me, I'm trying to shoot your brother here. Would you mind? Look at him trying to save him. That's adorable. Let's keep doing this. Just kind of slowly backstroke. Slowly backstroke. And you thought nerfing weapons was the way to stop the cheese. Oh, Relogic, you little silly sausage, you. Fight's not over yet, though, ladies and gentlemen. Fight ain't over yet. Will be, eventually. This is going a lot better than I had thought it would. This is just great. I'm not hardly taking any damage. Have I even lost a full heart yet? Ow. Hey, that kind of tickled. Now we'll see. Lasers are doing a lot more damage now. Popping 25. Ah, God. Okay, that's close. Gotta get that movement speed. Gotta move. Gotta move. Don't get cocky, all right? This could very easily switch momentum real fast. Okay, let's go. Come on. Oh, down. Going down. A lot better than going up. And there's a wyvern. No, I don't want a wyvern. That thing still hits hard. That thing hits harder than the bosses, I'm pretty sure. Come on. Let's go. Bring it on. And you're dead. Ha! Take that. And they're falling down. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. The wyvern hits harder than the boss. What time is it? Do I have enough time to fight that again? I think I might do that a second time, and then we'll see what all we got. I want to get a lot of hallowed armor before I go into the next one. So we'll do that one more time. Only 11.45. We should be able to handle it again. Let's go after the wyvern. There we go. Two twin kills in one single night. And I think I got the pet from that. Is that what that is? Twin eyeballs. Two are better than one. Oh my, it's like the little uh, mini Eye of Cthulhu pet. Do they uh, also switch? Or are they just kind of just floating around me like that? Do they turn into their mechanical variants at all? Doesn't look like it. That's still cool anyway. Though I do, as always, love my possessed skull. I love the little Skeletron Jr. He's absolutely my favorite. We'll have to see what Skeletron Prime gives us. But like I said, there you go. Two twins kills in one night. The black spot is definitely as overpowered as I heard it was because they could not even keep up with me with it. And all that armor, they were hitting me for like 10 damage. They were doing less damage than these little enemies right here. The little eyeballs were hitting me for more damage. But uh, yeah, that's pretty impressive. Now we can throw the relics down. We'll throw both of them down. Why not? 
and open up our treasure bags and see what lies in store. One, two. So, got masks from both of them. Got 60 souls of sight, 53 hallowed bars, and the mechanical wagon piece, of which I believe I only need one. So we can sell the one. Get rid of one of the masks. We'll save the eyeballs, I don't know. Throw that stuff in there. And now what about the bars? Am I actually able to craft pieces of the hallowed set? Oh, wow, it got a resprite as well. Hallowed jousting lance. There's some new items. There's the Excalibur and the Gungnir. Durendal, I suppose that's uh, that's the new whip. Okay, I like that. What about the armor set? Can I make the whole thing? There's the helmet. There's the chest, and I cannot make the pants. I'm just a little bit shy of making the pants. So maybe I'll end up fighting the twins one more time. That way I can guarantee that I'll have maximum defense for probably the destroyer next. Because I did get a Daedalus Stormbow and a Holy Arrows, like I said in the last episode, I believe. I wanted to see just how underpowered it was, because even if they did take away its penetrating capabilities and reduce the damage, it's still gotta be a pretty effective weapon against the Destroyer. I could also try the Old One's Army now and get the Tome of Infinite Wisdom. I honestly don't think I'm gonna need all that, though. I don't think I'm gonna need all that extra little fluff there. It shouldn't be a problem. I'll just kill Skeletron Prime, and then with whatever weapons, I'll just destroy the Destroyer. I am curious to see what these Souls of Sight will actually give me now, if there's any new kinds of equipment. I can put the Souls of Sight in a bottle, like I could with the Souls of Light. The Drax, I can still make that pickaxe axe once I get all that stuff. We got the Steampunker, finally. I wonder where she likes to live. Probably the Snow Biome, I'm assuming. The Snow Biome or the Desert, because there aren't very many NPCs that actually like to live there. Everybody else likes to live in all the other biomes. Get the Fairy Bell, Rainbow Rod controllable rainbow to make the Avengers emblem later. It looks like it's pretty much all the same old, same old, so they're not particularly useful. So I guess we'll just drop them in there and call it a day. As for the bars, I'll throw them in there, and uh, I don't know. But yeah, there we go. That's the twins down. So I think what I'm going to do next is actually give the Destroyer a try, and I'm going to use the Daedalus Stormbow. I know that it and the Holy Arrows got nerfed, as I've said a million times. I'm sure everybody is well aware of it, but I have an idea for how I might actually still make it an incredibly useful weapon against the Destroyer, because, I mean, the Holy Arrows, they still drop down a bunch of stars on impact, so even though they might not penetrate anymore, it'll still be really effective against the Destroyer. It's just, it's not nerfed into the ground, it's still useful. So I'm going to use that against the Destroyer. I know I'm not equipped for ranged, but I don't think any of the melee weapons that I have available to me right now are actually going to be able to make any serious kind of dent in the Destroyer. Just other than the Dao of Pow, maybe the Shadow Flame Knife. I doubt that the Flying Knife is going to be of any use. I don't think it deals enough damage to actually wipe him out fast enough. I'm more worried about running out of time to fight him in. So what I did was I made an item called a Molten Quiver, which I think is a new item. It works the exact same way as a Magic Quiver, which I can equip the both of them at the same time, and I think that the arrow damage and speed stack. It's just not the chance to consume arrows that doesn't stack. But basically what it does, it just turns wooden arrows into, you know, flaming arrows, but that doesn't matter because I'm going to be using holy arrows. But I still wanted that damage buff and that arrow speed. So that combined with... Uh, where is it at? I need an archery potion. Should make it a pretty rapid fire bow and arrow, if I can even make one. I don't even think I have any archery potions. There we go. I have a couple. I don't even know what it takes to make those things. I've never actually, uh, never made them. Well, I've not never made them before, but there we go. I have those now, so that, combined with all these accessories, I'm gonna keep the moon charm on just for the extra armor at night, even though I know it is primarily a melee accessory. So I'm gonna use the Ale of Stormbow. We're gonna summon forth the Destroyer, and we're gonna give it a try. And I have an idea. As fast as this black spot moves, I wonder if I can outrun the Destroyer and just avoid the probes and the lasers altogether and just make it chase me. Because I think it works the same way as the Eater of Worlds, where it doesn't despawn if I get too far away from it, it just follows me, as long as I don't go too incredibly far away. So I think as long as I just outrun it and fire this thing backwards at it, it should be able to handle them and I shouldn't have to deal with it all that much. If it works out the way that I hope it will, then the Black Spot is without a doubt the most crazy overpowered thing ever. I might have to fight Skeletron Prime just regular running around on the ground, just, you know, don't want to make it too unfair. You know, I gotta give these guys a chance. They're the big bad mechanical bosses after all. 
But yeah, that's the plan, and that is the goal, the objective here. We're gonna wipe out the Destroyer, get our Hallowed Armor, and then beat Skeletron Prime, and then I guess that'll be that. We're going off to the jungle. So, when night falls again here soon, I will see you then. All right, night has descended on us once more, and the Creatures of Darkness have returned for their second beating. So, without any further ado, as I said, we're gonna give this a try. Hopefully it works out. Maybe I'm overprepared, maybe not. Oh well. Let's summon the destroyer and buff up and see how this goes. Where is he at? Which side? He's coming from this side. All right, let's open fire on him. Maybe I can get some shots in on that coil right there. There we go. So it's not penetrating anymore, but it is still doing a good bit of damage to him. And I think I should be able to avoid him. I just got to keep my eye on his head because I imagine that is a death sentence in master mode, getting blasted by that. Oh my god. That's a lot of lasers. But he's long enough that I should just be able to fire. I don't know, maybe I can get him to chase me. I'm gonna give it a try. Maybe I can avoid him altogether. His head's still over there. Is he gonna chase me? I think he's still chasing me. And it looks like he can't reach me. I think I was right in my assumption. He cannot reach me up here. His lasers can't reach me. I think we're good to go. I just gotta keep him running this way. As long as I hear them clinks, I'll be good to go. All that armor's still making him hit for next to nothing. And the probes as well. I think this is going pretty well. He's already half dead. Black Spot, you've done it again. Ah, getting a little close there, buddy. Don't get too excited. I'm about at the uh, ice biome. Don't want to get too low to the ground. I'm going to end up hitting the ground. Oh, God. The corruption is already all the way over there. Where is it? Oh, God. Here he comes. Okay, let's turn around here. I'm going to get him to switch directions, head back the other way. I don't want to hit the end of the map. Still here clinking. I don't know if that's if it's working or not. I hear clinking. Might just be on the probes. He's losing health, slowly but surely. Look at that. Daedalus Stormbow's not unusable. It's just not overpowered anymore. Come on. Bring it on. Where you at? There he comes. There we go. Let's just finish him off here. No more running around, running away. Never mind what's going on outside your window. Oh, I think the tax collector about got got. It looks like it flew straight through his house. He was probably just in there sitting reading a book in the night by candlelight and all of a sudden the destroyer just comes plowing through his house. Like, oh, this is the reason why I don't live with your rapscallions. Thought I would be safe over here. All right, destroyer, let's go. Game's over. This is it. Done and over with. Goodbye. And he's gone. And that's the destroyer. One down. I don't know, do I have enough time to do it again? It's even earlier than the last time, so let's just try this one more time. Just like before. Oh, so, so much damage. And the tax collector is dead. That's all right, I didn't like him and he was rude. You know, this is actually almost sad that I'm just kind of slightly moving back and forth a little bit and it's not affecting me at all. Thank you, Heart Reach Potion. He can't even reach me. Good try, Destroyer. Unfortunately, you're still uh, still a little bit of a gimp. Ah, uh, sorry about that. It's the nature of the worm, boss man. I can't help you. One more time! Where's he at? Oh! And that's why you don't touch the head. All the probes are pretty much giving me all the health that I could possibly need. So yes, keep shooting them out at me. Keep doing that. This is master mode. Ladies and gentlemen, this is master mode. Somebody needs to help this guy work on a stormtrooper aim. And... Dead again. That's three destroyers all in the same night. Maybe I should have started with that. I think I was a little bit too concerned. Didn't get the pets, though. Kind of disappointed about that. Not gonna lie, a little bit disappointed. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Daedalus Stormbow, still perfectly viable, useful weapon against the Destroyer. All I'm doing is wasting all my potions fighting bosses that really don't matter. Okay, so we got a lot of relics. Let's equip this stuff for right now so I have a little bit of easier mobility here. Plunk these relics right down next to their buddies over here. Why not? Just a big lineup of relics. Everything's looking great. Looking real good. Okay, so what do we have inside the Destroyer's treasure bag? Okay, we got a dev set. Lenfors. Hat, wings, luxury shampoo, fancy pants, and excessive style. What, what next? We got another treasure bag, another treasure bag. Same stuff as always. 83 hallowed bars. A good pile of gold. Almost a whole platinum from that. Still doesn't reimburse me for all that I spent trying to upgrade all the accessories and everything. But whatever. It's okay. It's all good. Um... I don't know what to do with the dev set. We'll put that in food. We'll put all that in food. Souls of Might. I don't know if that's any more or less useful. Did I lose my guide? Is he dead? Did he get eaten by the destroyer? 
It looks like he did. Okay, well, we'll find out whether or not this stuff does anything different next time, whenever he decides to show up. And with the hallowed bars, I should be able to make the pants for the set. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, the hallowed set. Let's take off the die so we can get a good look at that new sprite. I really like that. I like the new sprite. 10 out of 10. Looks pretty good. I like the cape that they have there that you can't really see unless you hide your wings. I like how it sort of flaps in the wind majestically. And it looks like they gave the shadow dodge to this, so... It was probably just too good of a, uh, a little bonus to give to titanium armor, which you're gonna replace the next armor set later on down the road. I, I usually hold on to that stuff all the way to Gollum just because it's too good. There we go. Excellent. All right, well, with all that taken care of, two mechanical bosses down, I don't believe that I have enough time left to face off against Skeletron Prime because the video's been going on for long enough already, I think. So, in the next episode, we'll take the fight to him and then we can finally go and explore the jungle and probably defeat Plantera. I don't know how she's gonna be in master mode, but probably just as painful and annoying as she is in any other difficulty. So, thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you're having a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.